Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will look into a specific question type video which will help you with your knowledge of world's important towers and how they have become the identity of their specific country or city. So this specific question was asked in NATA 2021 attempt 1 and will surely have something similar in attempt 2 as well. So the question was like, the given images below are single line sketches of various cities in the world depicting their famous landmarks. Identify which is the appropriate skyline of Sydney in Australia. And here are the four options given like shown and we need to identify the architecture which belongs to the country and choose the right answer. So likewise, today let's look into skylines of many more architecturally rich countries or cities. So starting with Shanghai, China. So let's see how we can differentiate this skyline with any other country or city. So the very prominent and different structure in this skyline is the Oriental Pearl Tower. So this structure is a TV tower in Shanghai with height of 468 meter and 14 floors. This was the tallest structure in China from 1994 to 2007 when it was suppressed by the Shanghai World Financial Center. So this is another very important structure which can define the skyline of China. So this is how it looks with a cutout right at the top of the building. So this structure was again suppressed by the tallest skyscraper in Shanghai that is the Shanghai Tower. So these three buildings are the prominent skyline of Shanghai which differentiate it from other countries or cities. Moving on to the next skyline that is Sydney, Australia which was also mentioned in the question prior. So Sydney has some tallest buildings of Australia with most skyscrapers skyscrapers including Crown Sydney which is Sydney's tallest building with massive harbour but Sydney's skyline has to be ruled with the most popular Sydney's opera house with its unique use of a series of gleaming white sail shaped shells as its roof structure and is more than enough for you to identify Sydney's skyline. But adding to it is another important structure that is the harbour bridge at the background making an iconic landmark and we need nothing more to be sure about this skyline. Moving on, next is world's main epicentre of classical architecture. With the arches, domes and the walls and are also the dominant features in the skyline. With that, prominent structures you should be looking for are many but one amongst them is the Colosseum which is an oval amphitheater in the center of Rome. It is the largest amphitheater ever built despite its age. Although substantially ruined because of earthquakes and stone robbers, it is still an iconic symbol of imperial Rome and was listed as one of the seven wonders of the world. There is so much more to talk about but for this video let's stick to the skyline and brief information of these structures so that you remember them well. After Colosseum anything you should look for in the skyline is another beauty of the Vatican City that is the St. Peter's Square. Like you can see in the above image it is one of the largest and most beautiful squares in the world. There are n number of structures in Rome but for the skyline after these two if you need anything more to identify that is the Panthenon and is one of the best preserved monuments of ancient Rome, a former Roman temple and since the year 609 a Catholic church and the dominant features are large granite Corinthian columns, eight in the first row and two groups of four behind. Hope you have come across the orders of ancient Greek architecture which are the Doric, Ionic and Corinthian. If not, please check out the last video mentioned above. So always keep looking for these main three structures for you to identify the skyline of Rome, Italy. Moving on to the capital of China. Beijing. I think two to three prominent structures different from any other building or architecture can help you to easily identify the country. And in Beijing, those are the CCTV headquarters, serves as China Central Television Tower. Architect Rim Kulas and two others designed the structure with architectural style as deconstructivism. And this is how unique it looks and a dominant structure in the skyline. With this, another creative building is the National Center of Performing Arts, being described as the Great Egg is an art center containing an opera house in Beijing with architecture style as modern architecture. Following to these two amazing structures is the beautiful Temple of Heavens, which is an imperial complex of religious building and is inscribed as an UNESCO World Heritage Site. So I hope these three are more than enough for you to identify the skyline of Beijing, China. Moving on is the city of Japan, Tokyo. As you can consciously see that the skyline of Tokyo is dominated not by any building 
a tower but by this beautiful nature's gift that is Mount Fuji which is the highest mountain in Japan and is visible from there on clear days. Mount Fuji's exceptionally symmetrical cone which is covered in snow for about 5 months is commonly used as a cultural icon of Japan. Like you can see in the image above and is more than enough to identify the skyline of Tokyo. Let's look into more details. Another prominent structure is Tokyo Tower and Tokyo Skytree. Both are not visible in the skyline shown above but are the tallest towers of Tokyo. Besides these two, the others are not so different that you can identify the city skyline from. Moving on, the next city is capital of art, fashion, culture and France that is Paris. And I think you need no introduction to the magnificent Eiffel Tower and you already identify the amazing structure that it is but why not add more knowledge. Here's another structure that is Arch de Triomphe which is one of the famous monuments in Paris and is the star of the juncture formed in its 12 radiating avenue like you can see in the images above. And it's an eye-catching structure in the skyline adding to it is the Louvre Museum Paris, the world's largest art museum and another historic monument and is best known for being the home to the Mona Lisa. A half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Adding to this is another structure called Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. The cathedral was consecrated to the Virgin Mary and considered to be one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. But on April 2019, the cathedral caught fire, destroying the fire and the forest of wood. The roof beam supporting the lead roof and is now under restoration, like you can see in the above images. So here, with the skylines, we are also adding to our knowledge of the world architecture. Moving on, let's look into the city of New York, one among the world's major commercial, financial and cultural centers. Its iconic skyline include the skyscrapers such as the Empire State Building, World Trade Center, Bank of America Tower and many more, with the highlight being the Statue of Liberty and does not need any more description for you to identify the skyline. Moving on to the capital of Netherlands, Amsterdam, known for its artistic heritage, elaborate canal system and narrow houses, with gabled facades, legacies of the city's 17th century golden age, like you can see in the images above and is also highlighted in the skyline. But another important structure is the Jinx Museum. It is the Dutch National Museum dedicated to the arts and history in Amsterdam. And the last structure is the Royal Palace Amsterdam, another prominent building in the skyline. Moving ahead to Los Angeles, in the Southern California and the center of the nation's film and television industry. Near its iconic Hollywood sign, studios such as Paramount Pictures, Universal and Warner Brothers. But having said that, Los Angeles has a pretty low skyline with no skyscrapers as such because the building heights were restricted at one time due to earthquakes. This was an aftermath the Long Beach earthquake of 1933. While today, the tallest building of Los Angeles is the Wilshire Grand City, built in 2017 followed by US Band Tower and many more. And this is how you can identify the skyline of the gradual raising heights of the towers with no prominent skyscrapers. Moving ahead is the capital of United Kingdom, London. It is a 21st century city with history stretching back to Roman times. At its center stand the imposing Tower Bridge thanks to the neo-Gothic architecture and lifting central sections. When it opened, it was the most sophisticated bascule bridge in the world. The bridge crosses the river Thames close to the Tower of London and has become the world famous symbol. Another structure is the Big Ben Clock Tower and is renamed as Elizabeth Tower in 2012 to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Elizabeth, Queen of United Kingdom. And is another highlight of the skyline. Adding to that is the London Eye or the Millennium Wheel. It is a cantilevered observation while on the south band of the River Thames and is another prominent structure to identify in the skyline. Moving on to the city of Istanbul, Turkey, that straddles the Europe and Asia across the Bosphorus Strait. Starting with the most prominent structure of the skyline, that is the Blue Mosque or the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. It is a functioning mosque that attracts large number of tourist visitors every year and is the highlight of the skyline. Another notable structure is the Topkai Palace Museum. In the 15th and the 16th century, it served as the main residence and administrative headquarters of the Ottoman Sultans. Also, I think the skyline is all about the minarets which is designed so the call to prayer issued from the mosque five times a day can be heard loud and clear throughout the town or city. So the skyline with all these minarets resembles the city of Istanbul, Turkey. Moving on to the capital and largest city of Germany. Both 
growth by area and population. Berlin, reminders of the city's turbulent 20th century history, includes its Holocaust memorial and the Berlin graffiti remains. Divided during the Cold War, the 18th century's Brandenburg Gate has been a symbol of peace and unity and is the prominent structure in the skyline. Berlin virtually has no skyscrapers because of its very soft, sandy soil and a high water table. Building skyscrapers is technically impossible, but Berlin's TV tower is a taller structure in Germany but probably expensive. Lastly, the Rieste building is another structure constructed to house the imperial deity of the German Empire, like shown in the above image. Moving on to Barcelona, the, the cosmopolitan city of Spain is known for its art and architecture, starting with the highlight of the skyline. The fantastical Sagrada Familia Church is a large Finnish Roman Catholic minor basilica, designed by the Spanish architect Anthony Gaudi. His works on the building is part of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Another notable structure is Akbar Tower, which is 38-story skyscraper marking the gateway to the new technological district of Barcelona and are more than enough for you to identify the skyline. Moving ahead is the skyline dominated with the world's tallest tower that is Burj Khalifa and 380 meters tall tower, which is the highlight in Dubai's skyscrapers filled skyline and is a very prominent structure to identify Dubai. But Adding to it is Dubai's Al Arab, located 280 meters off the shores of Dubai. Burj Al Arab was built on a man made island and takes hotel design to a new level of modern luxury. And its striking sail shaped building makes it the prominent structure in the skyline. Adding to it is the Emirates Office Tower, is a 56 floor of office building along Sheikh Zayed Road in the city of Dubai. These two equilateral triangles are one of their kind in Dubai's skyline and are the notable structures. On to the capital of Greece, Athens. Like you can see in the skyline, Greek architecture is known for tall columns, intricate details, symmetry, harmony, and balance. The Greeks built all sorts of buildings. The main example of Greek architecture that survive today are the large temples that they built to their gods. The most prominent structure is the Acropolis of Athens, an ancient citadel located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens and contains the remains of several ancient buildings of Greek architectural and historical significance, the most famous being the Parthenon, like you can see in the above image. Adding to that is the National Archaeological Museum, which houses some of the most important artifacts from a variety of archaeological locations around Greece. So this specific skyline is totally dominant by tall columns and almost all the structures include them like you can see in the above images here we come to the end of the video next we will be looking into principle of design so stay tuned make sure you like subscribe and share if you like the video see you bye